Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's Nasdaq YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna continue my V2 Ray series to show you how to generate your V2 Ray and nodes and then you connect to it using free open source V2 Ray and client to connect to your internet, which you can make sure your own privacy protected and you can bypass certain internet censorship. The all related materials has been posted into my blog post. In this video, I'm gonna use in the Cloudflare to do the same thing to generate VLAS, this protocols server list, and then we're gonna add it into v2rayn and then you can see how to use your own domain and then go to the internet which you also can bypass in your certain countries internet censorship as we did in last two videos we did using the ssh oceans free vpn server list also we did using Google Colab and Rapidly.com's free service to generate SS server list for you to use in a V2 Ray and this V2 Ray open source client. So now let's jump into Cloudflare and then starting to use this GitHub project Edge Tunnel. Generate your own domains v2 ray server list and then use it to connect to internet you can find this github link from video description there's not much information to show you how to use this github project the worker vlas.js this file to create your own tunnel, a VLIS node to connect to internet, especially integrate with your own domain in Cloudflare, which I'm gonna show you step by step. Also, you can go through my blog post, which you also can find in the video description. Follow that, you should be able to create your own V2Ray node and then connect to it in five minutes. To complete this lab, you do need have Cloudflare account and also I do strongly suggest you to get a eu.org free domain. Regarding how to get Cloudflare account, how to get free domain from eu.org, check my video in my channel, search by Cloudflare, you should be able to find those videos and then follow those videos guidance. You should be able to get those accounts for free. Again, this is very simple, easy thing to do. I have been mentioned that in my previous video many, many times to use Cloudflare free service. Assuming you already have your Cloudflare account, what you need to do is go to your Cloudflare dashboard go to the workers and pages page. So as you can see, I already created quite a few workers under my account, which you also can find from my video channel to see how those workers used for and how we can create them. Now we just need to create our new workers, create a worker, gave a name, I usually gave VLS because that is used for, by default, Cloudflare already gave you a subdomain from workers.dev, but we are not suggesting to use this workers dev because this domain probably already been banned or prohibited or filtered in certain countries already. So strongly suggest you have your own domain, which we will telling you how to assign your own domain to this worker. For right now, just using VLAS, your own name for this subdomain. Go to deploy. In a couple of seconds, your new worker has been created. 
that added code here because we're gonna use the code from this Azure Tunnel. Copy everything. You don't have to change right now. There's a couple of things need to be changed, but uh, what you need to do is just copy everything. If you want, you can fork this project to your own, but for this demo purpose, we just paste everything we copied here. Unfortunately, there's something you have to change. There's two things. The first thing is the user ID. As you can see, you got the UUID, user ID, or also you get a proxy IP here. You don't want to use same user ID since many people are using it, just in case people can find out that. You want to have your own user ID, which can act as your password for your website, which you will see it later on. The proxy IP also important. For those information, I already have quite a few introduction telling you how to do that. You also can get the proxy IP from the list here. I collected it from internet. For me, usually, I copy this one as a proxy IP. UUID, you can generate it from your v 2 rn or you can use the one I'm providing here. It's easy to remember, um, but you can customize it based on your requirement. Or you can use a UUID generator from online. So that's another easy way you can generate your own UUID. Doesn't matter which one you're using as long as you have one, but you do need to know this UUID right down somewhere because in the future you might need it. In any time you can come back to find your own UUID. Anyway, so we put this UUID in, we put this proxy IP in, what do we do? Next step is to just to redeploy it to make it the configuration taking into effect. In the main step already done. What's the next? The next, of course, we need to generate our VLAS configuration, which is under your website here. So as now, we have this worker vlas and we have a subdomain assigned to it vlas.51 sec1 worker staff depending on your workers configuration when you create your first workers they will assign you this unique workers subdomain so for now since we have we have vlas we can just paste it here. So now we need to get our UUID behind it because that won't give you anything meaningful here. If you do remember your UUID, then you can just copy So basically that's your V2 lay configuration. You can see you have server running on port using the UUID and TLS for encryption, SNI and the WS options here, pass, header. All those information what you need to do is copy. Then you need to paste into your V2 ray. So that's my V2 ray here. I have quite a few V2 ray V less configuration here. To add your new our new in, just control V, paste the in. One server has been imported from clipboard. It should be at the end of it. As you can see, this one I created one before, and you can have this one here as well. Now this is a new one. Let's take a look at configuration based on the web page generated configuration you can see all those being pasted into 
this VLAS node and we can use it as we did before. So we set this up as active server and now we need to set this VLAS as our system proxy. You can see system proxy settings changed. We can move this. Now we can try to access internet and you will see all internet connection has been proxied from this VLAS node to the internet. Certain pages, certain connections has been blocked, but most of them has been proxied, go to the internet. So one thing we can do, we can using what is my IP to verify the IP right now. You can see what my IP has been sent to the internet. Let's try Google. What is my IP? Let me show my IP address. As you can see, my IP address it becomes from Hong Kong. Hong Kong, Kowloon. That's basic setup how you can use this workers dev go to the internet. And we are going out through, through the proxy IP in Hong Kong to go to internet. Our next step is going to change it from work staff, this subdomain, to our own domain. As mentioned before, right now, our workers is using workers.dev, this domain provided by Cloudflare, and it might have an issue for certain country to access to it. There's some blocking or restriction to access this workers.dev subdomain. So that's why we need to add our own domain to it, our own subdomain, which you already own it and there's no blocking, no internet censorship point to that domain. So we're gonna create one called vlast.51sec1.eu.org, which is my own domain. I control it and it's under manage of the cloud free portal uh, so I can add a subdomain and you can see cloud free will automatically add following DNS record and give a new certificate for this domain HTTPS domain okay we add it now we can take a look um, it might take one minute for this subdomain to work but uh, we can give it try. Of course, we need to put a UUID at the end of it, else you won't get anything other than those information. To get your UUID, if you don't remember it, just add it to code, because the UUID is supposed to be unique for yourself. Anybody knows that, then they will go to your subdomain and get this information. So we just select everything, Control A, Control C, and here we do Control V. Right away you see we add a new domain here. Now let's change it to active. And also we make sure set system proxy. Let's try to go to internet again. Right away we get the IP. We get IPv6, IPv4 IP, and then we know it is from Hong Kong. And we can accessing our website, 51sec.org, through this proxy the IP address. I do have uh, quite a few other proxy IP you can use from here. Depending on where you want to go, you may find some other website providing similar things here. But uh, 
That's the way how you can jump from your home country to the proxied country and get out to the internet from that country. So there's a US, Singapore, Japan, Hong Kong, Ali, Yun, and Oracle Cloud, and Digital Ocean. Anyway, that pretty much everything from this video, which is showing you how to use Cloudflare, how to use your own domain, and then generating your VLAS node and use certain country as your proxy country to get into the internet. If you found this video has some interesting, useful information, so give me a thumb up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. That will give me great support. See you in my next video.